This guy right here, he is the man of the match. <laughs> you alive? He was alive. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. What is up, everybody? My name is Hypercore Ripper, and today we are back playing Tabs. So in today's video, we are going to be pitting the brand new units against each other, as well as a couple of the older ones, such as the Super Peasant and Dark Peasant, which have both had slight amendments made to them. Well, the, the, uh, the Dark Peasant actually has had a pretty large change. He is completely different. Super Peasant now works as he is meant to. So we're going to start in Denmark, and I am going to go straight for the Neons. So what I'm going to try out first is 15 of these Teslas. These guys have sort of laser rifles. They sort of shoot lightning. It's badass as heck. And I'm going to put them against, not the box gun, I'm going to put them against the projectiles shield. Because I didn't really see how well this worked yesterday. I wasn't really paying that much attention to it. So I really want to see how well 15 against 1 does. Should, I, should, I, should we put you back a little bit? Put you back a little bit. Yeah, there we go. What what kind of range have you dudes got? Have you got a pretty pretty low range? I think they have. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh is it working? He's shooting them down like crazy. <laughs> and it, oh, he's dead. <laughs> he's down. I am confused. I am very confused. Projectiles shield. Gravity dude. Okay, am I missing something here? I don't know. No. Projectile shield. I, is he actually? Deflecting those at all? What are you doing? Or can you not deflect the projectiles of your own people, of the neons? They're just shooting straight at that pillar in the middle there, so I'm not sure he can. Alrighty, what if we try you against someone super basic? Super basic, like some super basic archers. I'm just going to use... Should we just go for 15 again? Yeah, 15 is a pretty good number. So, right, archers, will your arrows be deflected? Oh, it's working! It is working! Yes! Oh, this is what I wanted. Ah, oh, this is badass. Look at him go! And then, is he just going to zap them all down? So he's got a white laser, which is what is uh, deflecting the arrows. And then he's got a separate blue laser, which is just uh, wiping them out in a matter of shots. <laughs> this is so cool. Have you taken any hits whatsoever? I really don't think you have. Good job. Well, seeing as you've done such a good job against the archers, why don't you come up against a Dark Peasant, the brand new Dark Peasant. So this guy can now fly, and he's got these weird red orbs, which he uses to... <laughs> which he uses to uh, sort of just screw people up like crazy. As you saw there, that would lasted a matter of seconds, if that. I wonder if we can get a Dark Peasant to pick up a Chicken Man Man, because if you didn't already know, or if you didn't see there, this new Dark Peasant can pick people up. So I'm just going to show you this quickly and then we'll go on to the chicken man man. I'm just going to put down, let's have a hundred, a hundred very, very willing peasants against, against one very, very happy dark peasant. Look at this. <laughs> it's so good. It is absolutely amazing. I, I don't know if I, I think I do prefer him to the old one. The old one was very cool with the spikes coming out of the ground, but I equally like this. No, I do think I like this more. It's, it's badass, but I wish we could possibly change it around. That would be cool if we could alternate between the spikes and the what whatever those are, the orbs of death. I think we should call them. That's a pretty good name. <laughs> Very creative. Only creativity on this channel. I would very much like to see a flying chicken man man. We might need two dark... He's like riding him. What are you doing? Like riding... Like grinding against his thighs there. Wow. You really... You want to get up really that personal with him? <laughs> of course he was going to win. And you notice he was grabbing the, uh, the regular chicken mans as they were falling out of his ass and just murdering them instantly. <laughs> Can we please get this chicken man man to fly? I'm going to put down six. Six of them. He's probably not going to last very long, but if he gets some airtime, I'll be very happy. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Make him fly. Make him fly. Make him fly or make him die. How's about some new super peasants as well as the dark peasants? Why, why not? Let's just see what they do against three very willing, once again, very willing chicken man mans. All of the opponents in this are very willing. <laughs> Do these guys lift the people up? Whoa! Oh! They're going! They're going! See you later! <laughs> Where are you taking them? Please! Throw them off the- Oh, I thought they were gonna, like, carry them over to the edge of them and just gently drop them off into the abyss. 
I don't know who was doing that, but I would like to say it was the Dark Peasant, so I'm going to put down another few units. A few units turned into quite a lot of units. <laughs> Alright, just one more. There we go. So we got however many Dark Peasants, and then we got some... Should we put more Super Peasants down? Uh, no, let's see how we do that, and then we'll be able to determine who it was that was really doing the lifting there. Damn! <laughs> and that is it! So we'll put down some more of them and see if they can work with this group of dark peasants and get them to lift them off the ground. Come on! Up! 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 Oh, he's trying to get away! Did you see him scrambling? <laughs> they are all over him! Poor guy! <laughs> We really should try out some M16s versus these muskets as well. Because the M16s have got a decent range, and these neon muskets appear to have a pretty decent range as well. So we've got two on that side. Should we put down... Yeah, let's even it up a bit. So we've got 15 on that side. 15 lovely little M16s. And then we'll have... Oh, can we fit them into this area here? Oh, we might be able to squeeze them in. I don't want them hiding behind these tanks. So you there, for example... And you're okay. No, you're not actually. You've got that little bit there that uh, might be an advantage, I would say. Uh, where can we put you? Maybe if we just drop you up here, you'll you'll uh, will you jump down? Hopefully, you won't stay up there. If they do stuff, that that's not a bad thing. It'll look very cool. Ah, oh, god damn it! Uh, I'll just put you there. Okay. Well, they. they <clears throat> okay. Are we ready, gentlemen? Okay, gentlemen, are we ready? I think we are ready. We're ready, steady, go. When do these guys start firing? When does everybody start firing? Okay, th th we are good to go. Let's... Oh, here come the cubes. Here come the cubes. And here come the... Oh, the... Have they stopped already? They have. They have. You want to watch out, Mr. M16? You're going to get... <gasps> oh! Oh! This is looking kind of even at the... No, it's not. <laughs> What we're going to try now for a few minutes is to see how can we kill this dark peasant. And we can actually put him up there. That's a uh, pretty, pretty good vantage point. Okay, I want to see a few different ways that we can murder this guy. So for example, for example, can these neon beamers, wherever you are, there you are, can they take him out? So for example, uh, five. I'm going to do five against one. Here he comes. He's diving down from the sky into the crowd. <laughs> Dude, you're so graceful. You really want to start fight? Oh, yeah. Wait, are they making him crispy? I think... Was he already... Was he... I think he was. They've made him a little bit crispy from shooting him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let him go off the edge. Throw, 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 throw. Come on. Oh, throw him off the edge, please. Please throw him off the... Uh, you didn't want to throw him off the edge. What about him? Oh, come on, dude. I just want to see you throw someone off the edge. Come on. Fire, guys. Do you want to shoot? Shoot, shoot. Yeah. Oh, look at it. Look at it. They kind of look like like tickets. They look like little bits of paper. Let's just see if we can get near one. It is. It's like a little golden ticket. Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. So we've got five left. Can they do it? There's some angry boxes. Angry boxes. Angry boxes. Oh, my God. They've... <laughs> Dude, that box completely screwed us over. <laughs> I reckon they would have stood a pretty good chance of at least injuring him a little bit more if it wasn't for that. Dude, don't play with your food. It's not nice. Just just let him go, please. Just dispatch him. Just kill him already. <laughs> Thank you. So to make this a little bit fairer, let's try it in Scotland, where there are no cubes that can fuck up our fight and mess around with the gravity and make little boxing rings, all that kind of thing. <laughs> What else can they do? I think they just generally explode as well. So, we tried out those guys. I am going to move on to... Try the projectile shield? Projectile shield? Yeah, maybe. I don't know how... If he's going to be able to blow him back. He might be able to. Oh, it's not working. Wow. Wow. Did we already try that? I think we, we did already try that, didn't we? I'm certain we did. Okay, fine. Why do I keep on going into miscellaneous? It's because it's next to neon. Box guns. These... Are the, once again, the neon equivalent of the cannon. Shoot him down. Oh, you're, you're getting a little bit close. You're getting a little bit close. You're going to die. You're all very, very dead. <laughs> you're all very dead. And I'm going to move you way, way, way back. Because I would really like to see these guys shoot him out of the sky. Let's put you in there and another one in there. Okay, so 10 on 1. They're going to get you, or at least I really want them to get you. When are they going to stop firing? Anytime soon, really, really quickly. Oh, oh my God. 
Oh my god! Wait, what the fuck? What in the world? They're spawn- Oh, box guns! Of course! I get it? Boxers, box guns? I didn't know they did that. How did I not notice that before? <laughs> But that's incredible. Did you just see the, uh, the, uh, whatever they are, the cannonballs just bouncing off him? They did not push him back, injure him at all. Let's move on to another one. I would really like to see this guy dying. I, I know you're probably wondering, Chris, when are you going to do the Super Peasant? We will do that eventually. I mean, he's fairly easy. What kind of health have you got? You got 50,000. This guy's got 100,000 health. 100,000. That is ridiculous. We have got to take him out. Who could we try? Gravity Dude. We could give him a taste of his own medicine and make him fly. See how he likes it. That's a good idea. Here he comes. This is going to be a very interesting mix, right? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my. Wow. Are they done? Wow. Okay. You absolutely wrecked them to hell. I have no idea. How how much damage they did? What kind of damage or do they do? They gravity dude does an unknown amount of damage, but they've got three thousand five hundred health, which is pretty good. What about some more then? <laughs> what about some more? What about absolutely loads of gravity dudes just going all the way around the edge, not off the back though? Okay, so that is well. Hold on, we're leaving this up. We got one hundred on one. One hundred gravity dudes. Versus one bloody dark peasant who is refusing to die. Are we going to do some fighting in the hay bales? I think we are. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. Hold him down. Hold him down and zap him. Zap him with your, your thingy, your pack, your gravity pack. Oh. <laughs> it's not doing it. Th Where is he gone? Oh, there he is. It's okay. I found him. Found him. How could you lose a dark peasant? <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Look at all the lightning flying everywhere. Are you enjoying this, dude? He's definitely enjoying this. Wow. He, he's done it. He has absolutely annihilated them. Do they run out of the... Oh my god, they run out of energy. And he's not dead. Oh, oh, he's, he's alive. He's alive and he's got some electricity and he's dead. Who, who else is alive? Are you... Wait, what? He wasn't dead? Did you paralyze him? I think he paralyzed him. <laughs> what? Dude, this is messed up. I didn't know you could paralyze people. What in the... Oh, there are... Oh, there's one... <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. He's having a bad day. You're about to have a really bad day. Look at his goofy eyes. Come on. This guy right here. He is the man of the match. <laughs> You're alive? <laughs> he was alive. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. How about some energy sword masters? Will they be able to chop him up and murder him? They've got 6,000 health and I think it's 350 on the speed. And damn, all the sparks. Oh, <laughs> Wow. Wowie, wowie, wowzers. This this might do it. I would like to think this will do it. He's slamming them into him. He doesn't seem to realize that they are holding some pretty warm laser swords. Uh, but then again, he's already killed quite a lot of them. Can you just go and grab this group here? There are, don't worry, they're coming to you, my friend. They will come to you. You just need to lift them in the air and let them slice you a little bit. <laughs> and kick you in the face. Where have you gone? Oh, are we getting higher up? It's getting higher and higher. Oh, please, please kill him. Pin him down. Pin him, pin him down. Put your sword through his chest like a vampire. Okay, through his heart. Ooh, he's going to kill himself. <laughs> <He's g> <laughs> that wasn't fair. That wasn't fair at all. They, what are you, don't leave the birds alone. The birds haven't done anything to you. <laughs> it's, a, it's an unfair red victory. I'm not counting that one, guys. Never, never going to count that one. What about Mr. Tesla? Can you take out this ferocious beast that is the Dark Peasant? I think you can. I'm, I'm, I, I would like to say, yeah, I'm confident in you. You can do it, Mr. Tesla. Go. Oh, snap, it's working. Yes, and they are pushing him back. Yes. <laughs> Push him back to where he came from. They've done it. They have absolutely got this. It might take a while, but they have got this. Wait, wait, wait. did you kill someone already? Huh? Where's that gun come from? Who's dropped their gun? Hello? Is this is someone on the front line here who's dropped their gun or has been, like, blown away? They're gonna zap him off the edge, aren't they? They definitely are. They're just gonna keep on zapping his tummy tum until he falls off the edge, and then they're gonna stand there and laugh. You ready to go into the abyss? Well, see you later, bro. <laughs> they're coming after you. <laughs> they want to keep on zapping you. <laughs> 
Oh, I love the way they follow. I absolutely love that. Okay, well, there we go. Um, they unfairly won again. What we might have to try in the next video is take it back to Neon, because there is a slight ball there. I don't know if that will be enough to keep the Dark Peasant from flying off from these units that are shooting him, because I reckon the Beamer will do exactly the same. But we'll see. We will try it out. So, if there's anything you would like to see me try in the next video, then please leave it in the comments below, and I will definitely check it out. So for now, that is it. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.